Michael Block, Mike Block, Block, Blocky, Blocky Golf, whatever you want to call him. The story of Michael Block, the PGA teaching professional, the second headline of the most recently completed PGA championship here in 2023 has been amazing. And we talked about it about an hour and a half after the conclusion of the tournament. And the story has continued to develop. We're very curious on what you think his trajectory is going to be. He's since been invited to the Charles Schwab Challenge at Colonial this weekend on a sponsor's invite. He has since been signed by a management company. There's even bids for his seven iron that he accomplished his hole in one feet with for $50,000. The story continues to mushroom and bloom from here. Although it's only been a few days, the clip that I'm about to show is somewhat dated as the story continues to move. Bearded Bros Golf Show, back with the PGA Championship 2023 rundown special and what a hell of a tournament. We're going to get into it. Um, so Another huge story from the PGA Championship, one that was completely hard. <laughs> you could not miss this, is Michael Block, the PGA right. professional who, one, made the cut and then went on to shoot Four seventies. That's nuts. So I kind of have queued some clips up from you know him finding out yesterday after the third round that he's going to be paired with Rory to his kind of slam dunking it and then kind of on eighteen uh, cinching his fifteenth place um, finish for this week and been able to just automatically qualify for the PJ Championship next year. Yeah, so, next year. Mm -hmm. get, he's already yeah. in the field. Let me get that up here. Rory tomorrow. What's your reaction to that? Are you serious? Wow. Brett's just living fun. the dream. We're going to have a good time. Team Taylor made, by the way. Team Nike. Team, Team Nike. Taylor. And Nike, yeah. Slam dunk. He didn't even He didn't even know. We didn't even know that's a crazy thing. He, he tipped his hat and he thought it was just super cold. Yeah, he just thought he had hit the green. He was he's he was like, Why am I getting a hug from Rory for hitting the green? Right. You getting a hug for ten feet, he said, like after the uh, round. <laughs> yeah. This is him on 18, trying to get up and down. Amazing shot. Like, I can't tell you how hard that shot is and where he was able to land that. To and, land there. Yeah. That's actually Harry Diamond. You know, imagine being in that position, PJ professional, you're teaching throughout the week, and you have this whole crowd behind you, and you've convinced pro professionals that you're playing with. 18, here we are. Hopefully, just one stroke remaining. One five. Stay up. Get there. Yes. Jim Nance, a true golfer. Oh, you, know you know it. You know it. Loves me some Jim Nance. Truly. Yeah, just really gracious. Seems like an awesome dude. Um, you know, <laughs> and then then life changing money. So. Nice. Him, piece of change. <laughs> piece of change. I'm sure with him living in California, then taxes are gonna gonna kick his butt. However, three hundred nine thousand dollars. You know, that's that's a pretty nice chunk of change to be able to take home um, and do with whatever, right? You know, you go into the week right. and you you want to compete and you want to play your best, but do you ever expect to make the cut, shoot even? You know, end up kind of in the final groups on a Sunday. That's crazy. Like, just dude living the absolute dream. Now, he kept right. saying he's one of us, and I, I believe it. Like, yeah, yeah. truly. What, what do you think about this story? I don't think we've seen this in our lifetime or since we've been golfing to see a PGA yeah. professional, teaching professional compete like on this level. Not like that. Not like that at all. I mean, I felt like. The last few years, we had something to cheer about personally. Wyatt Worthington, the second, making making it uh, back to back years. He qualified, uh, even mm -hmm. held the lead this year in their championship. You know, kind of fell off the the bandwagon a little bit. 
I mean, it was a blustery day out there that the days that he that I saw the coverage. But um, going into Michael Block, like you read the article that you share with me, that was perfect. Like it's a true testament to PGA teaching and how that game works. It's not always the glamorous life you think it is. It's not always the I get to play when I want to game. It's absolutely not that. So for him to be able to, as he as he said, not even getting to hit a medium bucket of balls once a week, <laughs> not even getting to right. do that, and still right. be able to scratch it around for even par, that is gaming. That like I mean, you what what more can you say? You play yeah. with your you play with a guy that you know is personable in Rory in the final round. You hit a hole in one on the final round. Like, just like he said in the interview, bro, like, it doesn't get better than that. How do you physically top that? No, I mean, to be able to consistently perform, I mean, how many pros, legit pros, did he just beat out um, over a four-day stretch? It wasn't, you know, you kind of were holding your breath that maybe he falls off or he just – you know, couldn't sustain it, but for to him to go four days in a row shooting even par on that tough of a golf course, I think yesterday him whipping it around, you know, some trees with the driver off the deck to, um, you know, get up and down. Insane, I mean, it's man. it's an incredible story. I'm sitting here trying to, like, think about what's next for him outside of teaching. Can, in a couple of years, I think he's 47. Mm-hmm. Does he try to compete Champions on tour? the Champions Tour, <laughs> right? Go get some of that yeah, money, yeah. you know, because clearly the dude's got game. And if he was actually practicing consistently, could he step his game up a whole nother level and be able to make money, you know, playing right. the game professionally, just teaching? But either way, I mean, had the whole country, you know, golf fans across the board cheering for him, you know, just seemed like a Absolutely. very solid dude. Got a comment here from good old mom. First time seeing a hole in one live. <laughs> <Michael> Block. 